Welcome, my friends. We're going to check out Vigor on Switch. We're just doing the intro at the moment, but uh, we can see I'm on I'm on Switch. In the closed beta, I'm going to check it out. So we can customize our character. Definitely looks like a graphical downgrade, but then I'd expect that with a Switch anyway. It's not as powerful as uh, Xbox One. So uh, we'll, choose, we'll choose that guy. That'll do. Uh, become an outlander. You can change it later in game. Okay. Let's go. I mean, it runs smooth enough. Looks decent. You can crouch. Uh, climb. I'm using the pro controller as well. Hold to go prone. Yeah, it's pretty much, uh, pretty much the same as the Xbox so far. It don't look too bad, to be honest. Looks like a lower resolution and assets are dropped in quality. My audio is way quiet. Uh, how do we um I want I don't want I think that's what's making it super quiet. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Check your map. There is a camp nearby. Look for it. Uh, da, 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 camp. Which camp are we looking for? We're we looking for. Okay, I think we're looking for that one. Got to remember the uh, switch controllers A and B swapped around. Oh, that's always fun when you do that. Oh, yep. Yeah. And I press B again instead of A. Search the camp. There should be a weapon. Uh, should be a weapon. Here we go. Yep, uh, X and Y swapped as well. Um, take all. Let's take all. And reload. Uh, aim and shoot. Yep. It aims and shoots. And of course, it is Unreal Engine 4. Take these supplies. Uh, what? Ooh. Put a bit of disinfectant on me. There you go. Give me some health. And let's carry on to this next little hut here. The airdrop is heading your way. Check the map for the drop zone. Go and uh, drop zones is, is around this way, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, we just got to drop. Drop one of those there and then head over this bridge. And I uh, should be using the free-to-play model as well, the same as on the Xbox, uh, with season passes and things like that. Loads of cosmetics, uh, visual, you know, good, goodness to, for, your, for your Outlander. You can dress all nice, and skins for weapons and all sorts of cool stuff, and there's loads of crafting to be done, and it's uh, raid-based looting, for those that don't know. But, uh, I imagine there'll be a lot of people to switch on this, because there's nothing quite like it on Switch. Okie dokie, we got that box. And then you get out as soon as you've got all the loot you want. You get out before you get killed because you lose it all unless you insure it. If you're new to, to the channel just for the Switch version, you always check out my Xbox videos. It's pretty much, wait, it's, it's the same. But yeah, that's just the tutorial there. Uh, we'll get into a uh, normal online game. We'll see if there's uh, many people in the closed beta. We're just going to our shelter at the moment and... Uh, this is where you can upgrade your shelter, you collect now supplies. Safe, we have time for introductions. My name is Ada. So. Oh, wait, uh, what's up, girl? Right, let's go. Uh, so this ends up all, like, built up with... You can make your own food and things like that, and your house gets, like, nicer and nicer over time. There's your workbench. Oh. And here you can craft all kinds of weapons and ammo and... Build your house more in this one, and you get your crate. So there's my first crate in here from that airdrop we just got. So I'd like to open that. And we got some materials, uh, Thompson plan, so we can actually craft that if we have the materials now. So yeah, with that said, 
uh, let's see if there is a game we can play. Uh, da, 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 da. It gives all your, your instructions. You've got challenges there you can do for extra XP and items. Um, not available in beta version. Okay, so just quick play on solo. Uh, we can, that tells you about insurance, or you can pay extra crowns for better loot or better drops and insure your weapons uh, gear. So if you die, you don't actually lose it, but it does cost crowns. And if you're out of crowns, you can't insure, which means if you die, you lose your stuff. Very basic, and uh, yeah, we're going into our first game online on Switch and see what gear we can get and get out without losing it all. Hey, there we go. So up the top left there, I have 1,410. So I will ensure. Actually, am I going in with nothing? I might have a Makarov and that's about it. Uh, we'll do better loot. Why not? Better crate as well for the first example. We'll get everything. Uh, quite a few players in this one as well. Got some people wearing the old Vigor uniforms. I haven't got any cool clothes on the Switch yet. Okay, here we go. Getting ready, looking at the map. We are facing a town. We might be able to find loads of loot. Set yourself Just ahead of us. Focus on it and leave safely. Wandering aimlessly may get you killed. I'm getting footsteps just like in my right ear, prominently. I'm pretty sure that was a issue in uh, early days of Xbox as well. So I think it sounds like somebody's behind me, but they're not. Um, I don't know if you guys get that in the video, but that's what I'm hearing now. Uh, anyways, uh, we want to loot as much as we can, get all this goodness. I've got one mag with this Makarov, which is, is not going to end well for me, I can imagine. But you can find weapons in the world, so hopefully we come across something. Uh... Oh, took a bit of damage there. No worries. No worries. We'll find meds. We'll find some meds. I'm hearing shots in the distance already. Right, let's uh, carry on looting around here. Grab all the good stuff. It's all useful, all useful for your shelter, upgrading your shelter and crafting. I have no more bullets. So I've got to try and lose this guy. Why? Why did I have no bullets? Why did I not even check my gear? <laughs> I think I lost him. Oh no, have I got any meds? I've got no meds either. Oh, This is a bad first attempt. Oh, we've got something up there. There we go. There we go. Painkillers. Restores health over time. Get that on me. Um. Okay, we've got another building. Oh. Some fertilizer for the base. If you're, if you're on edge and feeling like you're not going to last much longer, um, the extraction points are these little orange triangle-y things. So there is one up the road ahead, so I could always bug out if I get shot at again. And not feeling too comfortable. Well, you know, no, not really feeling confident. It's, uh... <laughs> I got no bullets! Oh, I found a clue for the treasure. Okay, there is treasure on the map. We can find by those photos. And there's a bandage as well, which is a nice find. So if we take a look at this picture, if we can find that. That guy's near me again. Them trees, we can find treasure there. Which might even be down here somewhere. All right, 
We jump out the upstairs window while somebody went downstairs. There's somebody stood right there. Right there near that extraction. Might head down to that other extraction. Down south. See if I can't find a military checkpoint with ammo nearby. Oh, sh Oh, my goodness. I didn't bring a knife with me or anything. Mm, oh, gosh. Oh. This is my bad. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Was that ammo for my gun? What are the odds of that? No! Ooh, but I was insured, so I should leave with all of that. I should leave with all that. He had full auto, man. I don't even know what that other gun was I picked up. That was well played. So if you're insured, there's like there's no reason to get frustrated because I pretty much everything I picked up there I should leave with because of insurance. But if you do get out successfully and get loads of kills, mm -mm, it's a sweet sweet victory. But uh, we leveled up quite a bit there, got a lot of XP even though we didn't do too well. So yeah, loot. There we go. That's what we got out with. Uh, we got a shotgun. I could have used that shotgun. That would have railed him big time. Um, <laughs> what are the odds though? We find all that right at the end before we die. Uh, my word, I tell thee. Right, we got loads of stuff, though. And it all should have gone back to our base. So let's take a look quick. As uh, You can just go in with a knife if you want and just stealth kill people with knives and take their gear. Um, so, yeah, we got we got a couple of racks, actually, and shotguns and Thompsons already to give us a little bit of a head start, but you can lose them, like I've said, in the raids. So, yeah, we, we, we got gear. Um, we'll just put some of these back. We'll keep a Thompson and a Mosin out. And we'll put any spares back. We'll keep the, uh, what you call it, bandages with us. Once you've learned how to craft, that's where you do that. Consumables, your bandages and all that good stuff. Your medications. You can deconstruct here for materials if you need them. Uh, we can upgrade maybe because we should have a lot of materials now. Yes, metal parts. we got loads. So that will take 35 seconds to do the per first part of construction, which is our workbench. I think that said down below and then you go along and along and along and your base gets better and better and better as you can see in these pictures upgrades and it becomes a really nice place to live and uh it'll be a cool little outlander and also we have a shooting range here so you can you can practice all the kind of weapons and stuff and uh reset it when you've shot all the targets so if we get our mows now it's unlimited ammo as well so you don't have to worry about wasting loads of ammo it's just practice at your shelter so just shoot away and see how accurate your weapon is and whether you want to actually take that with you for some long distance target practice but that is it um let me know if i forgot anything if there's anything else you want to see on vigor on switch if you're new to the channel and not seen vigor before i am very impressed i am impressed with that actually i'm actually pleasantly surprised at that that is not too bad if I say so myself. It works. It is Vigor on Switch. <laughs> Which is... Uh, you know, that's a thing. You play this in the comfort of your home on your Switch. There we go. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and you enjoy the content I create. And, uh, you know, s smash that algorithm in the cheeks. Uh, leave a comment and all that good stuff. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time.